What's up Westsiders? So you guys liked my D-Wall video so much and by far the top comment was, how long does it fly? How long does it fly? How long does it fly? We are going to find that out. The batteries I was using for all the test videos were old and used. I definitely am hard on my tools at work. That's why I use D-Wall because they handle the abuse. But to really test one of those batteries and tell you how long it flew for would be not a correct test because it's not a new battery. To get correct test results, you gotta use a new battery. So that's what we're doing. I ordered a brand new four amp hour battery. We're gonna slide it in this thing and we are gonna fly it until it absolutely falls out of the sky. Should be interesting. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoy. Let's get to it. Okay, we're here at the park. We're doing the battery test on the DeWalt drone because that was by far the number one comment. Today we're testing the five amp hour used, four amp hour brand new, six amp hour uh, knockoff, and a 1.5 amp hour. We're gonna see how they go. Let's get to it. Okay, I think we're gonna start with the 1.5 amp hour. And we're also trying some different props today, some HQs. Man, they're feeling smooth. I'm just gonna try and take it nice and easy the whole time I'm flying. And we'll see how long we can fly for. Yeah, these props are way smoother, it feels like. I'm not really hammering on them, but... Okay, this battery's already at 17. It's starting to get a little windy. Maybe we'll just do a little bit faster, just to get this battery drained down, because I'm gonna be here forever if not. Sag down to 15 there, back up to 16. I think I got some watchers. And this thing flies so good. A little bobble, I mean, it is windy and it is a seven inch. But this is definitely something that you could take out and rip every day if you wanted to. The real downside is the, the price of these batteries. Maybe another run down here, 13.8, 13.9. That punch out, 12.5, okay, it's sagging hard. 13. 13 to 12.6. Oh yeah, it's falling out of the sky right now. 11. That's not me lowering the throttle. And that's it for that one. So that flight on that battery, the 1.5, was four minutes and 24 seconds. Nice and warm as to be expected. I didn't expect much out of that battery. That's one of the oldest batteries I have, and it's a small one too. So next, we're gonna go with the older five amp hour. Yeah, it definitely feels a lot heavier with this battery. The 1.5 was nice for, for the smaller flights, for sure. 
feels way heavier too. I mean, if you already got a bunch of D-Wall batteries, this is a, absolutely an option for you. Yeah, and say you did less freestyle and more like just long range or cruising at parks, this gets the job done for sure. And it's actually comparable. When I first started thinking about it, I'm like, oh, it's way more expensive, but it's actually a comparable option. Now with drones and batteries, you do hit a point, it's called diminishing returns. Where putting a bigger battery does not give you longer flight time because of the increased weight. And uh, we're gonna see where that point is on this drone. It might be in between these two batteries. And also with it weighing it down, it decreases the flight characteristics, so it kind of takes away from the experience. So there is a point where a bigger battery isn't better. It also depends a lot on what you're doing with the quad. But we're already at three minutes and 30 seconds, and we're only down to 18 volts. We're at six minutes and 30 seconds, and it's definitely uh, feeling like it's not as happy as it once was. Definitely need to stay higher on the throttle now. Now it's just holding at 16.5. Just dip below 16 now. <clears throat> Nine minutes and we're uh, at 15.6, kind of holding there. That is 10 minutes of flight. And we're holding at 15.2. It definitely feels unhappy. 14.4. Okay, first time I saw dip below 14, 13, 9. Oh yeah, it's dipping hard, coming back. Yeah, it wants to fall. I'm expecting similar performance out of this one, just because it is the same size and weight. I really kind of hope I get less flight time out of this. It would make me not suspect the walt at all.
Oh yeah, she's starting to get unhappy at seven minutes here. Oh yeah, oh, I better come back. 13, 12, nine for a second. We're gonna land this one at eight minutes. So we landed the four amp hour at eight minutes. So I guess DeWalt's not scamming us. The five amp hour is better than the, the four amp. Wow, that sun's looking real nice. Yeah, beautiful sunset. We had, a, I guess, a pretty big uh, tropical storm here on the coast. Here in Huntington Beach, we just got a little bit of rain, nothing too crazy, but man, that's looking nice, ain't it? Okay, and then this is the six amp hour knockoff DeWalt battery. They're like 60, 70% of the price of a DeWalt brand. Uh, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. But I uh, figured I'd give this one a shot too. It, initially, it's holding its voltage. DeWall definitely uses quality cells in their batteries. I can tell you that right away. Oh yeah, that was salt. that was full throttle, and it didn't it didn't do anything. Yeah, it's already at 17 volts, 16 volts. After a minute, you guys, this battery sucks. If this isn't a vote for DeWalt batteries and not the knockoff ones, I don't know what is. I will not be buying any more of these. I mean, it works for like my shop vac and like the stuff that's for my impact. I need that instant power. Sixteen volts at a minute thirty. Oh, that sun looks amazing right now, you guys. I just want to capture that sun. So let's continue with our test. Oh yeah. The and it just doesn't initially it just doesn't fly as good either. The D-Wall batteries were flying really, really well. This definitely feels loose. Like it's struggling for power. Dipping down to 14. Oh yeah, this is bad. At four minutes, it's, it's like, at four minutes, it's noticeably like horrible. 15.5, oh man, I better come back. I mean, the voltage did come back up, but Okay, so I landed the six amp hour uh, knockoff at just four minutes and 20 seconds. Hey man, am I driving okay? I think we're parked, man. And that is just horrible compared to the five amp hour where I got 11 minutes and 11 seconds. Don't buy knockoff D-Wall batteries, you guys. I learned my lesson. All right, I'm gonna test my other quads. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time. Westside out.